All right, so Jeremy is going to be on a mold of six here, it looks like. Um, Marty's a deck that can mulligan pretty well, though, so it's not not the end of the world for him. Trevor, on the other hand, it's good that he kept seven as, you know, Marty being so aggressive, he needs to have the cards. He needs to have just the sheer number of cards to fight off Marty usually. Um, now, in Jeremy's hand, I saw a copy of Disintegration, Fatal Push. I saw a Gideon. Uh, it looks like he also has a Toolcraft Exemplar, so that doesn't give a lot of room for lands. Um, now, I know he scried a land to the top, which we see there, the Ether Hub. So I'm not sure if that's going to be his his second land, though, or like, if he has any more in the hand. Um, but in comes the Toolcraft, uh, and thanks to this lovely little scrounger that's not what i want to see though this one uh did come in for attack of three instead of uh instead of one uh, trevor however a big uh big shot back there with incendiary flow which exiles that scrounger which is very key as the scrounger cannot be bought back now uh now jeremy does have an energy so we'll see if my spotter can get that that in play just so we can keep track of it he does have one from his ether hub, unless he forgot the trigger, but I have that energy token. So it looks like Jeremy here, just from what we've seen, has a couple of removal spells in hand. Uh, so if he's not playing any creatures or real threats in the next couple of turns, Jeremy's just or Trevor's gonna be able to pick up the threats. Yeah. To, the cards deal with everything. So this is definitely favoring him here if he can eventually deal with that toolcraft exemplar. Well, the toolcraft he has a harness lightning in his hand, so he has the answer to it. Oh. It just doesn't matter right now. Yeah. Um, the the key thing here that Trevor needs to avoid is letting Jeremy resolve Gideon. That's that's probably the hardest thing for Jeskai to deal with in this matchup. Um, it it just doesn't have the tools to fight a Planeswalker, uh, okay. and that's why Mardu is ahead a lot of the time. Um, you know, also the fact that it does hit the ground running very fast and just go go go. Oh yeah. Which uh, you know they need a lot of spells to catch up with. Um, now Trevor does have in hand a Sahili. Uh, he also has an Anticipate I see there. So I imagine that we're going to see an Anticipate here at the end of the turn. Unless Jeremy makes him do something else. Okay, Harness Lightning, interesting. Um, now, if if Trevor doesn't have, say, main deck Negate, this is going to open the door for this Gideon to resolve. Uh, but it looks like, no, I wonder if Jeremy used his energy somewhere along the line. Or just forgot it. Because I'm fairly certain he has a Gideon in his hand, and he has double white right now with that Aether Hub. Uh, but there's the Anticipate end of turn like we expected. Trevor is going to untap. He has a Sahili in hand like I mentioned. There's Disallow now as well though. So that's going to prevent Jeremy from doing... Well, unless he does this. Alright. Well, there's Sahili. Sahili there. Which, I mean, I can't really fault him for. Um, it's an empty board, which is really what you want to have her cast into. Um, casting her an empty board is just massive. Uh, now, again, Jeremy does have a copy of... Unless it's disintegration in his hand. He has a die on one on the energy counterpart of his playmat. There's an energy counterpart of his playmat? Oh, in the bottom. When did these playmats get made? Jeez. It's under, it's under his life throttle. That's why I couldn't see it. Okay. All right. Uh, so Sahili ticking up. Uh, of course, looking to get paired with Felidar Guardian. Because Wizards missed that. Which is just astonishing. Alright, not a lot happening here, but again, Trevor with the Planeswalker in play is the one ahead in this race. And here's the problem we see with the Sahili combo is Jeremy can't really risk tapping below that three mana. Because the second he does, if Trevor just goes untap, slam a Felidar Guardian, it's just game over. Unless Jeremy has like a shock. Which I know Mardu does play, so it is entirely possible because that does break up the combo as it kills off the Sahili, but... That's about all it does. All right. I mean, again. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a damage a turn. Um, it's a very long clock. He's also missing land drops though, which is pretty big. Um, usually, when you get to this spot, it's key that you just keep hitting land drops because you're already ahead on board. Um, I mentioned that Trevor really doesn't have a way to fight planeswalkers. Neither does Jeremy. Um, the decks. They don't fight each other well on this this big axis of planeswalkers. They're both very good at controlling creatures, but planeswalkers are a different story. So here we see Gideon. Yep, 
And he did leave up three mana with that disintegration. Okay, so Trevor did have negate though, so uh, he did he did not go fully shields down a couple turns ago when he harnessed lightning away that uh, exemplar. That's kind of funny because he's pushing the ultimate range of Sahili here, which doesn't really do anything. Um, the deck only plays one artifact. Unless he's playing a version that splashes like a one of Dynavolt Tower, which some do. Um, but other than that, he plays Torrential Gear Hulks usually. And he can only get one Torrential Gear Hulk because it does say different names. Uh, is this the Guardian? It is. Yeah. He says, I'm going to blink Sahili. He's doing this the wrong time, though. Jeremy should be doing that uh, in response to Sahili minusing targeting the Guardian. Because um, now Trevor gets to scry again. So, yeah, because he could have had Sahili on one, which, again, a card like Shock now has a way into this again. Um, yeah, it stays on top again, though. He already knows what's there. He actually uh, could have been scared there of him actually ultimating and grabbing that Gear Hulk. Uh, we know he just got rid of his unlicensed disintegration. Mm -hmm. So if he's left with a push in hand, which can't deal with it. Yeah, I mean, the put, the, that's the big problem with uh, with the push. It's so bad at fighting Jeskai. It just doesn't do anything. Like, it just does nothing. Um, I believe Trevor had a second copy of Guardian in his hand as well, actually. Um, so we may see him go for Yeah, he does definitely. It's at the front there. But you're just going to pass the turn, leaving up Disallow Mana. Um, again, though, no land drops being hit here. Uh, it, it makes me curious what he's scrying to the top. This is fine. He just lets the Healy take one. I mean, you don't do anything to this Apprentice. It's just a one, two. Jeremy, I don't know. I, there's a push in his hand that we know about. I don't know what else he has in his hand here. He hasn't really leaned over to let us no. get a good peek at it in a while. No, he's not being very friendly. <laughs> Trevor hitting another land drop here. Uh, so he just needs one more to be able to have Guardian and yeah. Disallow. And that could be what he's waiting for because that, that is protection. The The biggest problem, of course, is you know Jeremy does have seven mana. So he could have very easily have two kill spells. That is true. <laughs> and he's not really playing any threat. So you'd expect him to have some number of removal in his hand. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he. we already know, we saw him use, of course, the one disintegration. It's not likely that he has two more. The deck does play four. Um, not likely that he found three of them at this point already, but, uh, but here comes the Gear Hulk. This is going to flash back, I guess, Anticipate. Yeah, I doubt he's worried about this one, two, hitting... In all honesty, I, I think I would have almost just let this attack hit, um, and then... See if Jimmy does something else, like say play a Gideon post combat, and then you're able to go Gear Hulk counter it. Oh, yeah. Because like the the extra card you're gonna draw here doesn't really matter that much. It can, but whatever. And Sahili going to four is is, is totally relevant. Um, Sahili could be at one for all it matters. As long as she doesn't die, she's doing her part. Uh, Jeremy just uses second and license disintegration here, uh, only with four mana up here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see if Trevor wants to go ahead and deploy his fellow our guardian and try to win the game this next turn. Yeah, it's a little, I want to say risky of Jeremy to do that. Um, your Sahili opponent has pretty much scryed everything to the top. Um, I think I've only seen him go bottom once. Uh, he does find a very important untapped land here, though. Uh, so, yeah, here we see Felidar Guardian uh, with blue, blue, one left up for Disallow. He is targeting Sahili. This fatal push will not work. That's what he's signaling for because he has not lost anything yet. Revolt is not active. Maybe he's playing Path to Exile. That'd be cool. He actually goes ahead and he blinks uh, a land. That won't do anything. You don't have Revolt turned on, Jeremy. Does he have two pushes? <laughs> oh <shit. laughs> wow all right that works 
Uh, and I mean, I, I guess that's about all they're going to do in this matchup. Um, they just... <laughs> Did not see that one coming. <laughs> push my own apprentice, push your cat. But as we mentioned, uh, Trevor waiting until he had seven mana just went for the protective line and just covered himself on it. So 